Well, I seriously started not to go out today. It's uh, it's about 35 degrees with a pretty good wind, so the chill factor is somewhere around mid-20s. And good sense would tell me to stay inside. But I made the mistake of checking a YouTube video on a guy whose channel, I guess, is called Metal Detecting in Alaska. And I saw him digging finds out of a snowbank. And I said, well, what the heck? I'm not that big a sissy. If he could do it in God knows what the temperature is, I think I can do it at 25. Anyway, uh, these are my big guns, I call them. Uh, not necessarily detectors, but the coils. I got the Tesoro uh, 10 by 12 over on this side. I've got the Coiltec 15 inch. And then I got another mystery uh, coil back there that makes the 15 inch look like a sharpshooter. I haven't used that one yet. Uh, uh, I, I have another detector that uses that one, one you haven't seen yet. I'm going to pull it out in the near future so you will say, oh my God, what is he doing now? In any case, I'm going to go out, I'm going to take a look, I'm going to do a little detecting. If it's too cold for me, you know, I'd have to beg the forgiveness of the guy in Alaska and come on back. But we'll see what happens. I'll talk to you later. This is Texas Tiger Diggs. As I told you uh, in the prelude to this, um, I went out with the big coil, and my problem was I didn't see many targets. You know, I've been across this park many times, and I think I might have picked off the low-hanging fruit, and then everything else is going to be deep. And, of course, with the coil this size, uh, the Xterra Sono 5 was getting some depth, so I was seeing some readings that were showing 8 inches. 10 inches down and I wasn't really prepared to do digging that deep at this particular point. So next time I go out to that park, if I bring this big coil, I'm going to be bringing a couple of extra things. Uh, but uh, let me uh, show you right now what I found at the park and I'll show you the signals were not coming fast and furious. Um, I only found, you know, you know, garbage, you know, pieces of... Uh, they have a wonderful pull tab, you know, one of these little drink lids, scrap aluminum of can slaw, and I don't know what that is, probably can slaw as well. That's basically all that I found. Now, those were not shallow signals, so they were not like one inches, two inches down, some were three, four inches. So I did do some digging, you know, I did some, I, I made some, uh, I did some, uh, you know, hopefully surgical cuts that I could and was able to insert back the the removed portion of soil. Uh, so uh, it, it it wasn't obvious that I'd been there, but uh, I, I next I'm going to have to go out. I'm going to have to carry my tile. I'm going to have to to cut a large plug and do some digging in that park. And, and you know, but I, I just didn't want to leave a footprint because I didn't have the tools required to do the job I wanted to do. In any case, uh, that's what I got today. 